Hi everyone for Live at Epic Headquarters. Joe <laughs> <laughs> just, just said his fail of the week was not <laughs> it was setting up the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I was disappointed not to see you in the video this week. That was the first I saw it. It's pretty cool this week, right? Hey, I can't make the video every week. I gotta give other people a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of fails on Saturday when I was playing. I was like, gosh, I hope nobody recorded that. <laughs> Luckily I didn't show up. So that's, that's the problem with always on recording on. Yeah, I was gonna say, now that you've said it, I can go back and find them. Oh, that's right. <laughs> My fail would have been hiding in the wrong base. I'm not oh yes, that oh was yeah, that, that was the flag. Bad. <laughs> that was we we lost the match because of that. I'll <laughs> I I, th I threw down a, a nice big green glob on top of the flag where the flag spawns, and, and I left, and then I came back and ran, ran onto it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah. So uh, once again, we're going to be playing this week. Speaking of getting some frag videos, yeah. and so come come play with us on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern yes. time. We've been having a really good time playing with you guys, and we've gotten some some good footage. <laughs> yeah. And we love lots of players of all skill levels. We've got uh, some other people from Epic coming to play, so there'll be yep. people from here from all skill levels playing as well. So I do have a complaint us. about Gumby and Frost. Because like I get into a game, so people say, oh, here's a, here's a little bit of a lower skill game, and then those two guys come in, and it's yeah. like, it's over. They're two doors down, just go smack them. <laughs> <laughs> to get up away from the game. Um, we played with a new sniper rifle yesterday. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. It's yes. just yeah. really amazing. It yeah, Aberu's really done really a nice. fantastic job. Yep, Aberu, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It just feels it feels so nice. Yeah. yeah. It sounds great. Are we, are we going to keep this sounds? Or are we going to give it? It, no, it, it looks it more. That's all, that's all temporary. It's just using UT3 okay. stuff, so it, it'll get updated. Uh, Cause now it, the it new sounds typically good. the way we do is we wait for the new model yeah. to go in, and then we start working on the sounds. And then, uh, as Aaron does the animations, we'll fill out the you know, the reload awesome. and all the other stuff that good. actually has to be timed. Yeah, because I mean, it sounds really good, but it, it it's so modern looking that it's, it yeah, seems like it's Yeah, Pete was saying this morning he was hoping we'd go for a little bit more, little more techie pew -pew. sound with it. Yeah. So yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see, see if we have time next few weeks. Lots of yeah, we can always sounds are sounds are pretty easy to mess yeah. with once we get the bass in. So <laughs> can we just like pew pew pew? Oh, or Stacy can do the sounds for us, and they'll be done after the stream. All of our sound effects, oh. we're going to have a sound pack done by Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, we did try to get you to do the announcer sounds or yeah, that a didn't character. Work out so well, so well you can but do I'm going to do a character for sure. Yeah. I'm going to definitely do. There a was character. that guy that did Foregone Destruction as, uh, with his voice, right? We do. Oh, oh yeah, gosh, so yeah. We they did the acapella. We're going to have to post that video again. That's so funny. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Next week we have like a big announcement. It's it's like pretty big. It's pretty cool. What is it? <laughs> we tell you, you have to come back. It's to next week, Joe. Oh, yeah. it's not like oh my gosh, we're going to change everything in the game, but it's uh, it's something really cool that I think people will be interested in hearing. So, yep. so come back next week. So, Jim, you were just at GDC over uh, across across the, the ocean. Yeah. So, uh, for people who don't know what GDC is, it's our game developers conference, uh, and it's kind of where people game developers from all over the world get together. We do one in the US, one in Europe, and one in China every year. Um, not we specifically, but GDC. And last week was the European version of that uh, along with Gamescom. Gamescom too. Um, so yeah, it was cool to get over there, uh, see some developers I hadn't seen in a while, uh, see some talks, kind of learn things uh, about our trade. Amazing. Um, but I also did a talk there that was about our process um, and a lot of stories were popping up about you on the news I'm like what's going yeah, on I was oh actually yeah. really surprised because I did my talk and then like less than an hour later GDC did a summary and a review yeah, and it, it was, was really cool. cool it was nice to see it, awesome. uh, so it got a lot of attention um, I was meeting with magazine people and uh, games companies just all day long back-to-back -back interviews so that that was cool for for a couple days straight um, but it, w it was it was it was good because there was a lot of interest in in our process. Uh, my whole talk was about our process and the kind of the things that we've learned along the way. And this is as is is new to us. It's new to the industry. Nobody's mm -hmm. ever really tried to do something before. Mm -hmm. Certainly not at this scale. Uh, so there was a lot of good lessons there. Uh, I talked a little bit about it in the forums before heading over 
Um, if people are interested, let me know. I can I can post the notes. We should post the, the link too to the story that they have on the Escapist. It was really good. Uh, yeah. They actually talked oh, about they did? it. Oh, they did. I yeah. didn't see the one on the Escapist. Yeah, it was, it was pretty oh, good. Or nice. Was it? I saw the I one on uh, there Gamma was Sutra. on a Gamma Sutra too. Yeah. And, and and yeah, so there's, ah, a, cool. there's there was a bunch of. I'll have to look at that. Hopefully there was all this good. news coming in about UT. I was like, what is what is going on? Mm. And then it was it was mostly you. And then there was a company out there who was talking about how they they keep their employees motivated, and they have every ah, every Friday they play UT. Nice. <laughs> so they should come play with cool. us on Friday, then. Yeah. 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 We'll have to get them in the new game. They're playing UT 2004, so we'll have to, ah. we'll have to reach out to them and yes say, hey. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's been a lot of talk in the forums over the past week about communication and stuff, and that was a big part of the talk. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, in some ways, I think it would be, as, I mean, there's nothing to hide there, but I, I don't know how interesting it would be to non-industry people to read through, but um, I can certainly post the notes so people can read and just kind of see. I think people give some enjoy. context into where our heads are, I guess. Or at so least then they can head. yell at you, and then we can talk about more, more yeah. about yeah. it. <laughs> it's all it's all about me. the it communication. Came, it came straight from me, and so uh, you can blame me for anything you disagree with, I guess. Yeah. But I'll, I'll post it later this week. Awesome. Uh, oh, we have something cool to show people, don't I we? Guess. <laughs> if I'm on. It must be hub stuff. So. Yes, <laughs> Joe's on. It's the hub. Joe has codes. Yeah, uh, so I've been working really hard on trying to bring the new hub vision, uh, the new UI, up to, to speed. And here's the first look at it. So uh, what we did was we started off with, the, um, Henrik came up with the original idea. It was Henrik, right? I got the yeah, original was, layout, yeah. Yeah, yes. so Henrik had this idea of taking the hub away from a, hor a, a horizontal hub <laughs> menu and going, going with vertical with it. And so this is, uh, we we batted it around internally a bit, mm -hmm. and this is what we came up with. One of the nice things about this is I think it's a much better use of space in the end, especially we can fit chat, we can fit all the game types in there, we can fit the player list, and it's all really smooth and easy to use. And it's all full of nice pop-up menus now, so things will come up and we can see who's in a game really quickly just by oh, good. Uh, mousing over it. You can join a game, you can you know spectate a game right from here. Uh, you have full control over, you know, you can bring your player cards up, all of this. Chat is now fully implemented. We have multiple chat channels, like if I come here and I'll, I'll join this deathmatch game, and you can see now I can start talking right here. I can talk to the people just in my match. I can still talk to everybody. If it's a team game, we can talk, you know, just to my teammates. Eventually, we'll have the ability to talk to your friends who are on this hub. So if you're playing with a whole bunch of friends, you can just jump right in and uh, just chat with them all right through the same menu. And then on top of that, I mean, the rest of it is all, it's still the, what you guys are used to so far. So, you know, you can come mm -hmm. in here and real quickly, you know, pick what you want to play and boom, you're in it, you're ready to go. The interfaces should be picked up and similar to right where it was, but everything is nice. Full control, a lot more than we had before. You can now change your own team. Um, there's more controls coming here as we figure out what we want to do with it. Avatars too. People will. Yep. Um, start yeah. This is this is our first too, right? our first pass at avatars. Um, there's going to be a, a really small set mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning because we're trying to figure out how we're going to implement everything across the way. Our goal is to have you know your forum avatar is your big avatar that's linked to your account that automatically shows up in our game yeah. whatever game you're in. It's all automatic and it's all across the game. So we're working on the very initial phases of that and it's going to be really cool. Um, so in the next build, hopefully you'll be able to pick, I think there's four or five of them. I, I forget how many that we have. Yeah, I think there was. Yeah, but you, so you'll be able to pick, just like your flags, you'll be able to pick from a couple avatars, and you know, that's how you more see yourself. More coming online soon. What? More coming online. Yeah, more coming online soon. Ish. Once you're, once you're there, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's the exact same thing that you guys saw before in terms of, you know, quickly getting into a game, finding your friends. Um, there's some other ideas that we have down the line, plus, you know, when we get leaderboards and stuff, that'll all be built into this whole front end. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we ended up with. Anyway, that's my spiel. Well, it, lo it, lo it, it seems a lot more user-friendly. Yeah, yeah we're, we're getting there. I think each iteration, I mean, UI is, you know, you, you play around with some things and see what sticks, especially when you're working on core features underneath it. And so as you're trying to get the core feature to stick, you're trying to get the UI to stick, and you learn a lot of things along the way. I mean, when we originally whiteboarded the entire hub system, and we, we drew it, I drew it all out on a whiteboard, and we said, this is what we think it's going to be. And it was really neat, but it really, we learned very quickly that it didn't work, right? Yeah. So we've been looking for a new way to do it. How could we 
uh, find a better way to present all this information. Mm -hmm. And I, I think we're getting a lot closer to it. Uh, this is certainly faster for finding games that are going on. And a lot of these elements are going to show up elsewhere. For example, your, your hub uh, list of matches over here is also going to be in the hub browser, the exact same list. It'll look exactly the same. So when you go to the hub browser and you see a hub and you click on it, it'll show you a list of matches in there that looks just like the list that you would normally see. You click on it, you go right into that instance. So all that's coming online very quickly. Um, yeah, so e each iteration we're getting a little yeah. better. And this is also part of a slow our slow transition over to a more professional, final-looking UI as well. You know, the, the stuff we had in there was what we could do in the time that we had allotted. So we've actually put some thought into it now. There's a thread yeah. in the forums where people are discussing it already. And, you know, tying the 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 game HUD into the into the UI and into the web and all of that. So we have kind of a an actual. Uh, Personality yeah. for the franchise starting to develop. It's it's, it's we're it's starting cool. to get a little clarity to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've got a long ways to go still. Oh yeah. But it's it's definitely getting there. Yeah, it looks more professional now. <laughs> yeah. I was I was telling Joe what, when I came out Monday, I was like, oh, I don't use the hub. <laughs> I just go into a game. And he said, Well, what can we do to change that? And then to see just seeing you know this right now, it's like, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that just helps. hanging out in here. Yeah. Starting my own hub and you know yeah. just just sitting in there so because this looks well this I looks find really good. I mean I play a lot on the weekends and you know people around will find me in the various epic hubs and I find it's the easiest way to play you know a team game right because I'll mm -hmm. go in and as I said I'll I'll start in DM and I'll just start DMing people and then when we get seven or eight people I'll be like hey guys you know we just finished a match let's go play CTF and you pop out boom you got a CTF server up and running you know from there I've gone from CTF where you know I've gone right into showdown in in duels although. Believe me, I don't play Duel a lot because I'm really <laughs> bad at it. <laughs> so stop asking me. But um, <laughs> hey, Jay, I, you I, no. But I do play Duel. Showdown every now and then because I like it a little better. But so I can bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I think as our, our user base gets bigger, we're going to see a lot more activity on hubs. Um, and I think you'll be, our goal, our ultimate goal is to make it really easy for you to get into the exact game you want to play and not a version of the game that you want to play that somebody else has set up. Yeah. Right. right. There there's still a lot of benefit to having, you know, dedicated servers, especially for communities that already exist. But for the average player, I want to play my game. And if I can talk eight other people into playing CTF the way I want it, maybe I want to play Insigib CTF that happens to be low grav with, you know, a redeemer everywhere. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but if I want to play that way and I can talk people into it, that's what the hubs are there for. Uh, so Joe. Allow us to do that. For those of you who don't know, every time we, we test a new map, the first thing out of Joe's mouth is, this map really needs a redeemer. Every CTF <laughs> map should have time. a redeemer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> CTF, every it's the best way to, to even out a defense on, on a public server. But anyway... Um, so is, nope. is Lambo uh, Chris, from Chris is at, Chris UT is asking uh, custom matches. No, they're custom matches there, Chris. You can come here, you know, just like before. You can go to custom. This is going to take a little bit because nothing's cooked yet, but and you can fill out your custom mat just there like you go, before. Chris. So yeah, it's all. We you've lost no functionality in here that was there beforehand. Yay! Looks very cool. Yeah. Yes. All right. I played uh, Showdown with Pete Hayes yesterday. We had some. We had some really good games. Yeah, that was fun. We, we that all, was we a fun set of showdowns yesterday. Yeah, we we in playtest we usually you know do a big team team thing, and yesterday we we played some showdown matches and we had everything everybody yeah. matched up pretty well and some really good fights and even battles. So it was really good. I, I like showdown. Like to do that. Yeah, showdown's a lot of fun. I think it's a really good uh, enhancement to what everybody was playing in duel, and it certainly. As a player who's not very good anymore, I think um, it's much more fun for me to play Showdown, yeah. where that it's more about thing. trying to figure out the tactics versus how do I control every little aspect of the map, right? Well, it I doesn't have the runaway. Yeah. Somebody's got mm -hmm. control and locked it down, and you can't yeah. get it. And also, I think it's a nice sort of uh, balance between you know, the dual map control kind of game mode yeah. and the right. Rocket Arena quick in and quick out, where they're still and yeah. under knowing the map and figuring out how well to... Well, it's not so extremely hardcore in every yeah. aspect. Yeah. yeah. So yep. Anyway. And it's not so uh, repetitive as Rocket Arena. I mean, that's one of my problems with Rocket Arena is it's, yeah. 
it doesn't really have that initial tactical okay. boost. Don't, don't be don't be talking don't, bad don't things about my favorite game type. Don't be bad about Rocket don't Arena. Don't be saying bad things about you my favorite game I actually think that we can make some arena. changes and we can keep uh. improving Showdown and we can have it. Yeah. It'll be the new Rocket Arena. Yeah, but, yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I like, personally, I like that tactical aspect of you've got that little bit of breather where mm -hmm. now with the whole, you know, you see what your opponent does sometimes and you're trying to counter it and you're trying to pick, okay, if I pick here, what is he think I'm going yeah. to do and how do I counter that? Yeah. I like that over everything else. so But I wasn't busting on Rocket Arena. Yeah, Rocket my main thing with Rocket Arena is I am a very sloppy player. Yeah. And so it's nice to just be able to <laughs> rocket jump and do all He's this crazy stuff all and never stuff. worry about hurting <laughs> yourself. Yeah. 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 Oh, very cool. So, so I, I put the, w the schedule up a little bit wrong. I have the concept art first and then the community QA. Where's the do we want to do it that way or do we want to do jump into sure, the Sure, why not? First? Okay. Assuming so Shelly has it queued up. up yes. Yes. Shelly, do you have it? Sure. Oh, no! I'm telling you, today was this. This stream has been cursed today. Wow. <laughs> we th the, the reason we were late is we were trying to get the hub stuff up and running that just went in today, and it crossed with another check-in and caused all sorts of problems. And <laughs> the this is just the a cursed monkey. day. Yeah. It's almost Monday, I think. <laughs> but well, we go into the forums. No, look pass at it Stewart's over here. Stuart. I'll, 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 Stacey I'll will get, get us it. to I'll it. She can, it. She can find it on I here. I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Let's start with the questions. We'll have Joe ask them since he's here. Okay. Uh, can you read that? Yeah, I can read it. Um, so why is the camera not placed at eye? Oh, this is from Unreal Gladiator, by the way. Why is the camera not placed at eye level? Can we please move it back? There are many jumps that uh, you can make that appear as though you can't make them due to the lower camera position. Personally, I find it very jarring. If the camera is to, <laughs> is to be lower, the jump height be lower to match the lower camera height? Okay. So okay. <laughs> I guess first thing is, no, we're not going to just jump height to fit somebody's perception of what their camera indicates to them the jump height should be. Um, this is a con uh, So I thought this was a good, good question, just uh, or a good thing to, to talk about a little bit. It is a controversial. We definitely have people yep. on our team that yep. have other opposite sides of the fence. The trade-off with the camera height the camera height has a has a big impact on both your feeling of how fast you're moving through the environment and your feeling about how big other players are. And so the reason that we moved it down and we saw, I mean, generally positive, more positive feedback than negative, I think, so far, was that it made other player, your perception of other players is that they're larger and they fill the screen more and you, f you feel like you're moving faster through the environment. I mean, that I guess really what it comes down to is how intuitively you think about it because your crosshair is in the center of your screen so if you think about that as being at your gun height, <laughs> then the, w the player, the camera position we have now makes sense because your gun height should be kind of at somebody else's chest because that's where your gun is. Right. If you think well, about most it, of our guns are held here. If you think right? of your crosshair as being at your eye height, then it seems too low now. So different people have different intuitive senses of what it should be, um, unfortunately, and I'm not sure that we could support both. So um, yeah, I think that would. Well, it's also nice because when you run up to someone. You're not looking at their belly button. Yes, you know. Yeah. Well, no, but right now, now we're now we lower, are. so yeah. we're not looking at the belly button, yeah. but we're looking but at their chest. chest right well, you're again. you're you're looking right at the barrel of his gun, right? You're, yeah. you're the center of your screen is centered on where yeah. the barrel. Of your One of the things is. I'm always curious about is how how uh, how much this is. Uh, Related to your height, like whether taller people think that the camera height should be. <laughs> well, we, we, we could have a, a <laughs> pop-up dialogue that asks how tall you are, <laughs> and then tries to figure out what what the best way is. Yeah. Yeah, this this is like one of those options. It's always you know, some people prefer yeah. it one way, some people prefer um, another. I, I do think yeah, that U two ninety nine had the lower cam th this kind yeah. of cam lower camera height. Um, I don't remember. 2K4, UT3 had the higher. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it also has I a lot to do with the world, right? Like UT had kind of narrower and shorter hallways a lot yeah. more and, and 2K4 mm -hmm. was op more open. Yeah. So but basically it, ma it made sense to make that change. Either, either way, there's, there's positive and negative trade-offs yeah. either way in terms of your sense of scale. And so this is yeah. where we've chosen right now. Um, we're certainly not going to change movement based on that. Um, we're trying to make everything feel the best possible, but I recognize that some people prefer it the other way. Okay, okay so. next question is oh, for... Oh, oh my, my God, sneakers. Uh, oh, A my very, God, sneakers. very vague question here. I'm trying Not to... Not really. I'm I wondering mean, where he's going with this. How is it legally possible for you to borrow ideas from other games? And what if someone in the community tries to make a hybrid prototype of UT game modes Onslaught Warfare with the heavy impact of some other unnamed shooter with uh, ticket and territorial control system? 
the answer to that question, and I mean, I understand I'm not a lawyer, but you can't copyright ideas. Yes. Is really what it comes down yeah. to. And I, geeks borrow all the time. Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean good ideas King of the Hills, used. like everywhere yeah. now. Certainly, there's elements in UT. I mean, we all are mm -hmm. kind of standing on the shoulders of other games, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Doom came before us. I mean, kind of introduced the concept of first-person shooters. In a sense, everything that came after that is sort of Standing copying Doom, that yeah. idea. Shout out the um, Doom. At the same time, there's been plenty of other games that have copied elements from sure. UT. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, the I new mean, call new Call of Duty game yeah. mode is I bombing mean, And then look at know. Rocket League. My goodness. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, features happen all the games are starting to add yeah. dodging to it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. you know, dodging for the longest time was pretty much a UT specific yeah. you know, right. in terms of first person shooters. And, and it's now crazy now. And then you look and it's like, wow. That and that's that okay. I mean, a good idea. A, a game survives on how good it is as a whole, not as yeah. usually just one idea. So, yeah. I mean, the, the thing yeah. is, is that, yeah, you can't, I mean, what's unique about a game is the execution of that idea. Mm -hmm. And that's both the, I mean, how well it's implemented, but also some of the, I mean, there's a whole bunch of ideas and, and different decisions about how, and a whole that comes together based on the movement system and the weapons and the game mode and everything yeah. like that. So that, I mean, if somebody made a copy of some hypothetical unnamed shooter with ticket and territorial control <laughs> system <laughs> in UT, it would feel very different because yeah. UT is a very different game. And and mm -hmm. in some ways that might be better, in some ways it might be worse, right? There's game types that wouldn't work as well in Unreal Tournament because we have, we're so high mobility that there's certain yeah. kinds of things that are hard, yeah. like, right. like preventing somebody from getting somewhere is really hard to do in UT. Um, on the other hand, there's other things that work better in UT because of our mobility. So. Sure. You know, it's, and it's and and, and the, the cool thing is trying to find that that peanut butter and chocolate of what's a, what's a cool idea that works well yeah. with the the DNA of Unreal Tournament. I was uh, playing this weekend, and one one of the guys I play Call of Duty with did not know that I was a community manager for UT. He said, "Did you check out this game yet?" And he gives me a link to Unreal Tournament, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, I, I know that game a little bit." And he said, uh, "You should have been like, said, no, I've never played it. Let's <laughs> go play right now and <laughs> he's, yeah, just yeah, kick the town." Been, that would have been good. Because he's really good at, at Call of Duty, and he said the only thing is they need they need the uh, the cam at the end, <laughs> the, the uh, kill cam. Yeah. And I said, th how would that even work in UT? I mean, you, every, you, everything happens so fast. So fast. Well, that, but see, that's and a really good example, right? I mean, a lot of games now have that kill cam, and because of our pace and the the time to die that you want to get back into, back the, into game, the game, it's really not going to work for yeah. us. But that doesn't mean that we can't find a use for something like a kill cam. Or a feature along those lines. game type that right. know, uses it, some of those features. Yeah. Yeah. So often, I mean, we look at other game types or other games, and we we try to see, okay, that's that's a really neat idea. How would we how do we either improve on this or change it, or how do we use that as a starting base to come up with something else? And it yeah. that's that's how game development goes a lot of times. Right. Standing on the shoulders of giants. Yep. <laughs> Question two is, uh, have you ever thought about customization items for vehicles? Painted uh, Goliaths, neon lights under the Hellbender, Christmas lights on the power core. Of course, but we're really not thinking about vehicles yeah. right yeah. at the moment. I mean, yeah. We first need to do those kinds of things for, for characters. characters and weapons. Um, but certainly, it seems natural when yeah. we start thinking about vehicles that we'd want that. I think we even talked about it at yeah. one point during 2K4. We have, yeah. You should see yeah. my Rocket League car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's, that's a cool idea, but that's not something we're focused on yet. Yeah. We've still got plenty of work to do, just on the on the game modes that we're working on right now. So. Yeah, customizing is really cool, and yeah. I'm we're we're definitely going in that direction. So. So the next one is, uh, what are those coins on the map about? <laughs> What's the deal with those? What's the deal with coins? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, if you'll notice, I think it's just during the latest build. So coins are now only there, if you're playing, um, in tutorial mode. So they're basically a a way for in our tutorials and in our training modes for the maps the maps that are the training maps for for deathmatch and ctf a way to teach people how to get around the level uh, and to show kind of give people some some carrots for you know here's somewhere you could get to right and and uh, help people who are learning how to play understand the movement and what that enables um, but it's not something that we're going to have in regular gameplay and i think i think there was it was in well, there was Some a time a we there was, it was in a couple of the maps yeah. a couple yeah, of builds ago, but it, they're got, they're, they shouldn't be there anymore. They shouldn't be there in no, in normal game modes. Yeah. Yeah. When you're playing in tutorial mode, you have the option to collect them and do speed runs and do all kinds yeah. of mm -hmm. different things with them, uh, and they're basically just like you yeah. said. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're you can play Pac-Man on the map, yeah. and they're a great way to highlight, you know, especially in somebody who's trying to learn the movement system that. 
if you see a coin there, you can obviously get there. There is a way there. to get there. Yeah. Now it's yeah. and it, that's that's a good incentive for okay. Well, how do I get there? Yeah. And that helps bring you and bril- bridge you along into how to get yeah. there. They just need eight bit sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had eight pretty close to that. Anyway, um, moving on. Uh, Bloody Washer says RPG invasion. Put it in core profit. Um, I think Matt was the guy who originally did Matt RPG. Really Matt did RPG, yeah. and I would say if somebody wants to make us a brute and all the other creatures that yeah, we have yeah. for Invasion. I would love to put Invasion yes. back yeah, in. If somebody made, us some made and animated some, some characters. Again, we are a small team. We don't have the bandwidth to do that, but we would certainly... I, I would commit to helping with yeah. getting the, yeah. the code it polished. Invasion is it a lot harder than it sounds though. because it requires all the monsters and they need AI. Yeah. And well, AI is not well, the AI, AI on it stuff. isn't the hard part. I mean, yeah. really, the hard, the, the big part of the curve of Balancing. Invasion is the creating the creatures. Yes. The rest is relatively, yeah. you yep. know, not that difficult. But you have to have a wide variety. You have to... Yeah. They have to, you're right, somebody has to go through and create, you know, Anna Blueprints for all of them. Somebody has to hook up all yep. of that. That's where the real bulk of the work yep. on Invasion comes. But I agree with Steve. If somebody wanted to go and create really cool brute monsters and stuff like that, I'm sure somebody in this somebody, project would put them in. Somebody did start, uh, I don't remember who it was or how far they got, but somebody did start making monsters and they yeah. were trying to bring to put to put a community oh, group together to that. build an invasion. It was one of the first community mm-hmm. groups yeah. that started on this project. So the yeah. problem is, I, I think everybody gets there one, and they I go, think. "Wait, we need to build 15 models." Yeah, what? and this it becomes hard. a very big project. I mean, yeah. Yeah. honestly, the way if going going back to my mod roots, the way I would build invasion is I would get together two guys and build two models and build an invasion game off of that using color variants and yeah. weapon variants, and then go from there, expand out, okay, every couple days, yeah. or every couple weeks, really, you add another yeah, model. Add one, yeah. And in a year, you have Invasion, right? I mean... But you want, like, n- not just the purple character. You want yeah. the purple character who can fly and has Absolutely. a big target and has Absolutely. a lot of hit points. And yeah, so if it, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a good place to start. But it's a definitely a big resource yeah. requirement to get there. Yeah. So, um, UT editor surface alignment. One, can when can we align surfaces again? I oh, God, know. I wish. Uh, that was a feature that got broken, I believe, when we switched engine versions, and I think it's fixed in 4.9. Zach, is that correct? It's supposed to be fixed in 4.9. supposed to be fixed in 4.9. There's a change list that should fix it, but yeah. yeah. It's not, so it's not fixed, so, so we should, yeah. It is not fixed currently. Um, it, that is an engine level thing that we we carried over kind of on accident. So yeah. hopefully when we switch to the next um, engine version, it'll get up. We should follow up on that because we do have somebody mm-hmm. that's supposed to be fixing those kinds of bugs for yeah. us. And we should that would sure be that. awesome. Yeah. If you could find somebody to fix all kinds of BSP issues. No, we do. We have a somebody fantastic. dedicated to doing that. So if you guys yeah. aren't. So okay. So. so part two. If only Zach would. Uh, <laughs> if only Zach would <laughs> black bug <laughs> something. Or <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, well, I'll follow up, and we'll make sure that, yeah. that those things are getting the right attention. If using the GitHub hub compiled UT editor, will we gain access to it early? Any sort of ETA on that? So, well, if you're using the GitHub compiled UT editor, yes, because as soon as we, I mean, the same time our level designers use it, it's, yeah. I will say that's kind of risky. It is. As our yeah. level designers will tell you, there's sometimes <laughs> issues <laughs> with, uh, with the code, but... Um, uh. I, I, and I don't know we what the ETA is, but I agree it needs to be, it it needs to be fixed. This As a general rule, any feature like that, wait until we come out, you know, if it's a, if it's a big feature, especially that requires engine yeah. support, until it's really being used here and we've tested it and we know it works, you might want to stay away from it. But by all means, if you want to grab the editor and play around with it and send feedback and send bugs, do that. But understand yeah. that at any point in time, you might totally lose work, you might crash yeah. your memory. I mean, in development, it's what level designers here. We we work really hard so to try and make sure day. that the level designers always have a stable build. Um, but occasionally, even you know, with that, it, it fails. I mean, that's work. the whole point of our our build process is that we try and do the best we can to ensure that the build that you get delivered through the launcher is stable right. and usable. Um, yes, you could totally use the other one, but do so at your own risk and have fun. Uh, can you explain in your stream how to follow the game on Twitch? It is easier for all UT fans finding all streamers. All you hey. have to do is search for Unreal Tournament. Um, there aren't a lot of people um, playing the first Unreal Tournament on Twitch, although it does happen. Um, but if you just go and you search for it, it will come up. There are usually games going on somewhere, yeah. so there's usually games to find. Um, once we have more people playing and have more and more games, then 
it'll it'll yeah. be on the front page mm -hmm. with a, that whole list. But right now, you just go in and search for Unreal Tournament, yeah. and they pop up. Yeah. And if you follow us, we also read yeah follow us. Yeah, because <laughs> we we will. We uh, we, we also um, Zacubus has uh, has control of the channel now, so he he will um, host other players. So he's he has had Dylan on there a couple times him himself. He you know will have himself up there. Yeah. Who else have we had? We had. Um, Hypno, we've we've been streaming him too. So so follow our channel. Stuff will pop up on there, and just search for Unreal Tournament. Yeah, you can also uh, do searches just in IRC on Twitch, whatever you're the social media of your choice is. People tend to post like, oh, I'm streaming something on Unreal today, or oh, I'm doing yep. this. And, and we and yeah, and yeah, if you follow us follow on Twitter, if we see somebody who's streaming, we'll yeah. we'll ret retweet it. Yeah. Unless it's at three o'clock in the morning, like I had one yesterday. I think it was Dylan's. So it's like and <laughs> and sorry, keep in Dylan. mind, if you're a streamer out there and you stream it, we often watch them in our war room. Right? Yep. We have a TV up that we have streams running almost all the time, and we love watching people play our game. You know, and it gives us a lot of insight to how they're playing it and what they're thinking about. What was the what, what was when we were watching two weeks ago, where the guy did the world record speed run on Unreal One? Oh, that was that's that, fantastic. Good, the game's done quick. Good, yeah. game's game's done quick. quick. That was cool. Yeah. So we watch we watch streams all the time up there. Okay, onward. Uh, where was I? Sir snipes a lot. No, uh, yes. lazy me. Oh no, oh, you're right. Hey. Blaze NZ. Can we get the cardboard box hat in the marketplace, <laughs> please? Um, yes, it is on the list. <laughs> it is just we have so much stuff going on right now. Um, yeah, we will hopefully have it in real soon. Um, I Nato agree. It would be nice. Shaking his fist at us. Yes. <laughs> well, we promise we're, we're it's just, yeah, we're just waiting, waiting, waiting for the right it. moment because it's such a cool, cool yeah. thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> and my favorite question on the list is coming up here, and it's from Henrik. Can we have a dunce <laughs> cat for <laughs> idlers? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> it, it should work like map vote, where if when you're at the ready up screen, if you go to rage mode and everybody goes to rage mode except for one person, that person gets, you know, the dunce cat. I think I think yes, because demeaning our players is always healthy for them. Yeah. I'm <laughs> but mostly an idler. I mean, do idlers really stick around? I mean, usually an idler gets killed and then they're they're idling as a. I don't know. I, I, I don't find know. online I've it's always you know the guy who got up to go to the bathroom and then I comes I back. I just go to the kitchen them. get I'm a drink. Like no, no, no. I'm, we're talking about at the end, at the beginning of the game where everybody's ready to ready up. That's what we're oh. talking. About. We're not talking yes. about. Somebody idling. Well, in we game. probably uh, at some point we should probably also revisit the exact rules yeah. for ready up so that there's some like after some we already have a time limit where we start, but yeah. maybe there's a a percentage wise. If eighty percent of the people or ninety percent of the people are ready, ready up, you're waiting it's for time one guy. Then yeah, yeah. 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 Um, let's see. When will the link gun secondary fire be able to turn players into skeletons again, and will you get the cool flesh melting effect? Uh -huh. um, we would like, I mean, one of our goals is to have interesting deaths for every weapon, and I yeah. would love to have something like that again. I mean, we're actually been talking about trying to get that in. Um, again, this is just one of those, we've got lots of effects needs, and that's one, one of the things on the list, but it is, but that effect specifically is definitely on the list, um, or unless we come up with something cooler. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, We'll see. Um, I'm hoping that we can get that like in the, the next few mm -hmm. weeks. Yeah. Also, means we need a skeleton. skeleton. Yes. 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 And then I made that weird. I think we can just grab the one from, uh, from UT3. Yeah, it's I can not like that needs to be yeah. super. <laughs> a next gen skeleton. Skeletons <laughs> you can actually <laughs> see the pores <laughs> in the, the <laughs> bone. Or the one in UT2000. Yes. marks. <laughs> <Yes. of> color. <laughs> the <laughs> old guy's got the like little, little <laughs> whole pock marks in the skeleton because he's got osteoporosis. Scoliosis. Okay, now we're down to surf snipes a lot. I am a long-time player and don't move it on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and dabble in mapping, so I'm glad to see that I will be able to play another version. I would like to know if there will be any reuse of the macros yes. used to direct team members or AI bots. The use of voice bindings to deliver orders and taunts added to gameplay. <laughs> I may seem old-fashioned, but I still play UT99 often. If you count the number of potential, okay, I'm just going to stop there because. Yeah. So, Steve, what have you been working on so, this week? Um, so we've started um, getting that implemented. So the first step was just to get the bots um, w using voices again. So we've got a, a pr first version of that. Um, definitely, at some point, we will add support for um, uh, voice bindings or and a, and a UI for, for doing both um, just taunts and also actually ordering your bots around. So yes, that, that is all coming. Um, the first step of having bots Yay. give you feedback and taunts is coming um, in the next build, which is hopefully next week. And um, and moving on, we'll get all those kinds of features in as well. And okay. if you guys petition Steve, he'll even do PC Connect support, I think. 
<laughs> I had so many awesome. binds in, in the first UT that I had to keep a sheet of paper beside my desk. Oh, I had every key bound. You're because, such a geek. I well, you. you know, we, we were playing CTF and we played we played TDM and we had to t and we had played all these different maps, and when we, yeah. we, we I had to tell people where I was, you know, so. I had we also need text to speech so I can swass people. No. Swass, 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 And I, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure so the, the bot order menu and everything is eventually going to come back. So. Yeah. Um, what? There was a really good question thrown in chat. Which was? Um, are the 729 build uh, tone map settings likely to stay? It makes community maps very dark. No, yeah. those are. Tone maps and. It was so the so we've been maps. have we fixed that yet? Because it's been on those. It needs to be fixed before the next build. Yeah. Um, he also had I like thought that was an intentional change that we wanted to fix content, not the other way. Uh, I'm not sure. There's some combination of things. We'll have to check. We, we will to, either fix it we, we or we will tell you how to fix it. The tone yeah. mapper also was causing like like some green highlights and yeah. outposts. Yeah. So there's definitely the issues with mm -hmm. it. Um, so we recognize that either something needs to be fixed. We had the same issue in some of our levels, although not as bad as I think what I saw on the forums. Some of the community levels had yeah. real real big darkness problems. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be getting that right. We're trying to unify our tone mapper and post process across all levels so that we have more consistent bloom and weapon effects yeah. and things yeah. like that. And so unfortunately there's some pain as we're going forward on that process, but hopefully the next build will have further progress and hopefully be close to final. Um, but unfortunately we don't know the details. So. Yeah. yeah. Nobody right. knows. Uh, next one is, um, when are we adding new and unique weapons and unique variations of weapons, weapons such as Rocket Arena idea? I mean, right now, um, I'd say we're, we're actually looking to the community to experiment with new weapons. Yep. Yeah. There's um, a ripper make, in progress yep. somebody's making. If you make a new weapon, um, you can get level designers to put it in their maps, and so it can get tested that way. So there's, there's nothing, that's the kind of, that's exactly, and also it's, not a huge project to do. Yeah. I mean, there's some code, but it's not a huge amount of code. There's some art, but getting a prototype version is not tremendously hard. We would love to see some some really yeah. interesting uh, um, experimentation from the community. And I think that's the area. That's the kind of area where the community can really go wide with experimenting with cool new things, and then really seeing how they they fit into the gameplay and and, and balance with other weapons yeah. and everything. So we'd love to see stuff. Um, but there's for us right now, we're we're just focusing on the on the core weapons. We still have work to do right. in terms of core weapon functionality, and so mm -hmm. we're going to be continuing to, to finish those up and polish those and and continue to iterate on some of the functionality that's still not final on those before we start looking at new weapons. There's um there's a couple maps out there already that already have a, a ripper in it, right? Mm -hmm. yep. 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 So yeah. I think the lightning gun has shown up in a couple of maps, too. I, w I really want to try that. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Um, when will we have tertiary firing modes and extra <laughs> keyboard controller functionality <laughs> uh, for the firing modes? Um, wow. Well, we actually got rid of a tertiary firing mode when we brought the, the rockets back from two modes, or th three modes to two. Four <laughs> modes to three. Was it four to three? Four to three Whatever. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, I think our weapons are pretty complex in a lot of cases. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if we really need a tertiary firing mode. Yeah, I, I doubt that we're going to be adding in general, more modes to, I mean, we've experimented with that a little bit, like the yeah. bio combo, which I'm not sure will stay or, or, or not, but uh, but generally we're not, we certainly want to add more tactical complexity, like interesting trade-offs to our mm -hmm. weapons, but I don't know if we want to add more complexity in terms of more modes. But that's another area that if people want to experiment yeah. with their custom weapons, it's a great, great area great to experiment, area, yeah. yeah. Um, can we have dancing taunts and break dancing battles for idle players like from Destiny? Well, we kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we, we definitely can. Uh, Nate uh, has been but the first person, some. the only person I'm aware of that's actually experimenting with doing new animations and new taunts. Well, P uh, Pete kind of. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, Pete, Pete does some of his own, some of which are inappropriate you, and we can't talk about. But uh, that's some. some. <laughs> if you take <laughs> some, okay, all of them. If you uh, take uh, some of Pete's and do them kind of in order, you can. Dance. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And so anyway, <laughs> yes, it's possible. And again, this is a great place for people to hop in. Yeah. Um, I, once I think we get a bunch of quality stuff. We yeah, can. I think the other thing is, as we go along, one of the things that we're going to try to be, when we start prototyping and doing sort of uh, early versions of, is we definitely want to make, um, make it improve how we show off your character and other characters before the match and at the end of the match. 
and that's a pla another place where mm -hmm. having interesting taunts and things for yeah. players to do in those kinds of situations, I think, will be cool. Yeah, and we can um, put those. Those are really great yeah. fodder for the marketplace too. Like yep. Yeah. And we've talked about a lot of things whatever. on this too. I mean, we've talked about flag taunts. We've talked about yeah. you know the the whole being able to taunt the the losing team and things like yeah. that yeah. all down the line. But I mean, small team, not a lot of animation yeah. resources to go around. I mean, yeah. And focusing on on core yeah. gameplay first, right? I mean, some, that's, that's, asking that's about fun, this one. but not uh, yeah. not core. Someone's so. asking about this one. Which one? When you're talking. <laughs> doing this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And, then, and that, that always leads to type killer. <laughs> 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 I think we've gone oh. beyond that yeah. now. <laughs> we should do that on our streams, right? <laughs> always. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I Hold have on. someone coming in here. <laughs> so, uh, can uh, we have wait. UT4 and virtual reality helmets? Uh, wait, the, I d the second part of this question. I, I think uh, you have to ask it because we. I don't <laughs> <know>. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got you wrote it, Stacy. So I I'm did not. I copied and I pasted. Okay. It oh, I don't so make funny. us all look bad. Can we have? Uh, I UT4 in virtual reality helmets because girls rock and kick everybody's butt. Oh, uh, that's not what it says. I know. I changed it. It says all those although girls cannot play because of dizziness. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I think that's. Um, I don't know where that. I'm not sure that that Stacy. You I agree I, with that? I yeah. definitely don't agree with it because I've I've been like totally into the <laughs> VR thing. I, I'm not sure that I don't haven't gotten dizzy yet. I have never I'm heard dizzy. any. I've never heard until now anyone say that there is some difference between men and women <laughs> in terms of VR. Um, <laughs> that's new to me. In any case. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's okay. because women tend to be shorter, so their eye height is different. Oh yes. God. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Um, in terms of virtual reality, yeah. I mean, we've actually um, got UT running uh, on VR mm -hmm. goggles. I mean, the problem is the, the, the movement and everything is not really designed suitable. or suitable. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would love to figure design. out how to make it suitable. I think it'd be fun. Uh, the, the thing that we've, play, we've more seriously thought about is, um, is as a uh, spectating system. Yeah. Or uh, you know, for or for replays, where you can basically as a, a disembodied camera that is moving around in a controlled way, have this really cool view. It's really interesting seeing UT in VR goggles. It really makes the scale and a lot of things about the game feel very different, but yep. in a really cool way. Yeah. You know, so I think it would be really cool to do you know, fly around the map. Well, you yeah. know, th there's there's that one scene in uh, Serenity, the movie, where the the bad guys in the beginning, he's l he's in the room looking at a holographic recording. I mean, you could do something really cool like yeah. that. Yeah. in virtual reality where you're in the middle of a UT match and you see a guy kill and you stop and now you're there and you can see all the angles and you, oh that's where he was he was up there and you can really get in and almost be there as this really cool experience so I think there's there's some potential for that down the line but I don't see us playing UT yeah. and uh, I, I will I will admit when I play when I use VR goggles for more than a few minutes I feel dizzy so it's totally not a girl. Thing. A girl. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get you get stuck on roller coasters too, though, don't you? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, will you be <laughs> funded by Kickstarter so you'll have more funds to support <laughs> and endorse the game? I'm willing to pay 275 for this game. Uh, okay. Where did he get that? My figure? PayPal account is. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. But no, um, we will not be using Kickstarter. No. Um, free, free, I mean, free. we're glad that you're excited about the game, and uh, we've got a few things on the marketplace if you're interested in. Check it out. I mean, right now, obviously, it's more of a, mm -hmm. a test of the marketplace functionality, but uh, some cool community-created uh, content. And we're and, and we're in development right now, so yeah. w when the game's done, I mean, we would definitely yeah. be doing some more marketing yeah. and mm -hmm. probably. I mean, even before the game's done. I mean, mm -hmm. over time, as we're in I at the right point in development, we'll be rolling out more of our our systems that you know for and more stuff to buy in the marketplace and more systems that that allow people to spend money. We, I with, think we you know, should make a helmet that he can spend $275 yeah. on. Little gold crown. Little gold. <laughs> yes. In fact, we've got a gold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be Not happy to, to take the money, but yeah. <laughs> we want it to be free. All right. Yeah. That's all the questions. That think. is all the questions. I, l I love your questions, Metacognition. You have to come back so I can smack you. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you're in chat right now. <laughs> 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 you should scroll down. That's the old one. Do the Show the new one. Let's down, start. Down, let's down, start down, from the. Down, let's start down, from the bottom. Down, 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 all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Dun, dun, there dun. you go. There's two. One up. What? There you go. There it is. Okay, yeah. Shell. We're ready now. I'm. So I let Shelly down. She. I thought I sent these to her. I probably just stuck them in a folder and never sent her the link. I double checked. I S so these. 
these are from Sumers. I think that's how you say it. I I I've so been calling well. them Summers, uh, but Sumers it looks like it is Sumers. He has done some really cool, co he's calling his cosmetic stuff. There's a thread in the forums. Give him some feedback. Go tell him how awesome he is. Yeah, he, did a, he did an earlier helmet uh, that we've been looking at. And this one, I think, is way cooler. I really like this one. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. And I sent it to Stacy yesterday because <laughs> he also it did gets, an alternate version. It gets just better. For I don't want to scroll too fast because I don't want to get everybody dizzy. But look at uh, this. Oh. oh <laughs> the flak VR. version. Flak themed <laughs> texture pack for his helmet. And that helmet is just amazing. I, yeah. d I definitely want to use this. So are we going to be able to get this in anytime soon or? I, th I think, well, 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 I think the thing there is also we're figuring out how to use it and partner with the, uh, because th uh, that's got a helmet, like we want to make that something, whether it's on the marketplace or some other way where, yeah. where he can yeah. get rewarded for, for the cool work yeah, he's doing. I mean, that's really fine. awesome. That's a really, really nice. Uh, yeah, it's con uh, just, I absolutely love it. Uh, I definitely want to use this helmet. This is our concept art of the week. So I will have these images up on our blog post. When I make the blog post, I say tomorrow, but we'll, s we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Sometimes things don't always go as planned, but I will have these pictures up there so you guys can download them, and I'll have a link to the forum thread so you can go encourage him and tell him to make some more cool stuff, because it's really yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yep, looks I awesome. Go ahead. Hold on, um, there was just a really good question that came through the, the chat there. Um, it says, um, there it's been circulating for some time. We have a lot of community weapons, characters, hats, and stuff. What about maps? Are we going to bring any community maps as a part of the official game? And he mentions how Leia is a, a you know downloadable from the marketplace and everything, and it seems like it's not part of the official game. And you know, I, th I, I know you and Sydney were just talking about yeah. stuff I, that's, around that's the a line. good question. Yeah, so the other part was also like maps that are pretty far along, like a race that everybody loves. Like yeah. that just need a little bumper. A little Unfortunately, bump. it scrolled off my screen. I couldn't yeah. see yeah, it. Is, okay. uh, so th those are great questions. It's actually something we're actively talking about. Um, we would like to have. To be to figure out how we can distribute maps that aren't complete yet, like have maybe a marketplace section for stuff that is work that is well progress, on its way, yeah. but work in progress, but that's well yeah. on its way that we know is is you know got real promise. Um, so the two things I think you know by putting these maps on the marketplace rather than in the core game is not meant to make them second class citizens. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, what we're trying to do, and and we'll have to figure that out for epic content as well as the game gets bigger. But we're trying to manage. Um, as the game grows, the download side of size of the core game, yeah. and at the same time make it possible. And then the other important thing is, and it's so this is already starting to happen, is as the game gets more mature, um, we have a longer release cycle. So now we're releasing about every three weeks. Yep. Um, now unfortunately, this is not quite true for Deem Leah, so sorry, Captain Migraine, because when we were getting the first map in for, the, for GDC, we kind of hacked it, so it's actually in the build, yeah. um, even though you get a marketplace um, uh, entitlement for it. But the idea is, and I think now we've got all the functionality to support that, that by making those marketplace separate cooked maps, the um, creators will be able to update them at a different cadence than we're releasing full builds. And so yeah. that'll make, it, it'll make it possible for those map designers to be more responsive to the community when needed. So uh, we definitely, I think we're getting to the point soon where we're going to want to have a number, of, a significantly more uh, community maps, even if they're not completely done. Um, available in the marketplace that are you know that are kind of the epic, um, kind of our top maps that we think are are going to be are on their way to be yeah. becoming marketplace yeah. quality, um, and again in we the future we talked about bringing Ownage back, yeah. which was Cliff's old web page for yeah. basically reviewing maps and doing one a week, you know, like hey, this is kind of the featured yeah. map of the week sort of thing, which we I think I would love I, to. But bring we're already kind of doing that. We already do that. that. Yeah. I mean, we we have a community play test. Yeah, but you know, brand it and, and right. make, it, make yeah. it a more regular thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, Good maybe. Idea. But I, mean, I think that the, the key is, I mean, with with uh, with Epic Maps, the same thing. Like once we have a whole bunch of shells in there now because they don't take up much memory. But as we get more um, uh, polished maps, I mean, that may be something that we think about um, is how do we uh, segregate the content so that so that our download sizes aren't too big and that when somebody when we're updating a part of the game that you don't have to re-download yeah. everything. And and I do hope that we get to a point where when you download and play UT you're getting finished high quality maps that you can choose to download the shells yeah. and stuff mm -hmm. that are that are separate so you know hey I'm kind of getting work in progress right now we're still pre-alpha so everything is work in progress so it doesn't yeah. make sense to segregate them yet but I hope that eventually we can um, eventually because you, you, what we'll end up with there. is is 
you know, the, the typical UT game is several hundred maps in a, a highly segregated community, and we want to actually find ways to bring people together yeah. um, as opposed to send them off in their own separate directions all the time. So we'll see. I don't know what's going to be on the engine stream tomorrow. And I'm looking, and it doesn't look like it. Chance, Chance is here. made a thread. Yeah, but he it doesn't look like he made a thread. No, I thought there was one. There is? Am I looking in the right place under announcements? Well, while uh, they look for it, somebody also asked for it. Maybe if I looked in the right place, the it, would, it would be <laughs> um, oh. soon-ish. Ish. I mean, we, we have ideas that we want to go there, but um, I basically do a lot of the UI, and I'm pretty booked at the moment, so I haven't had a yeah. chance to get back to it. We, we, have, we have pictures that, have, that are in the forum that show some of our progress, but yeah. nothing has been decided for sure. And yeah. And yeah, I mean, the one, so one thing that you'll see, the, the thing that you will see that will be different in the next build is that instead of Frag Center being the default kind of backdrop of the main yeah. menu, it's going to be the, uh, the training, um, uh, Sydney's training. And the new uh, Frag Center maps. should be up as well. And, new uh, Frag Center! Um, the idea there being Looks is we want to make sure, especially for new players, that uh, nobody misses the opportunity to, to get in and do that. It's not a required part of getting yeah. into the game, but we want to make sure that all new players have a chance to, to check out the, the yes. tutorials. Um, but certainly over time, we also ha want to have a real main menu that, yeah. you know, hopefully is sort of a, I mean, we're kind of thinking of it as a my, my menu kind of thing where we have your favorites and things like that set up so it's really yeah. easy for you to get into UT the way you want to. Eventually, we want it to be, you know, we, we talked about this in U way back in 2K4, and I mean, we really dropped the ball in UT3, but I mean, getting into the game needs to be ridiculously fast. Two, yeah. three click stops, and you're there. Yeah. So we'll have favorites. Uh, I want to see favorites on the home page. Yeah. You know, you, we need to be able to get to the tutorial right from the home page, and all that stuff will come. But, yeah. you know, right now we're still in the let's play around with idea X phase, and, you know, it's kind of hard to zero in with UI when you're doing that. So. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow, Upper Cut, Cut Games is going to be on, and they're going to talk about their new game, Submerged. Oh. Cool. Alex, did is Alex going to be here tomorrow, or is, it, is Chance going to be here? No, we don't know. So it's either going to be Alex. If it's Alex, make sure you come troll. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Yeah. Poor guy. Yes, I know. He was trying to play Rocket League, and he was yes. playing against two guys that, yes. that play a lot, and it was pretty funny watching them get blown up. So, yeah, come join the stream tomorrow and say hello to everybody, and we'll see everyone next week with an important announcement. Come back. See you later. See ya. See ya.